Well, we are at the final stage of the girls' 10 and under division um, here at Tantine today. Um, on Thursday of last week, we had played the preliminary stages. We had some 19 primary schools, and after those playoffs, 10 schools qualified. So we were from the round of 16, two round of 16 match ties today. Um, matches began just around 10 after 10. Bonnie Government uh, School of St. Mark um, took on Hermitage Government St. Patrick, with Hermitage winning that match tie three matches to one. They then faced St. George's SDA just before lunch, the lunch hour, and the SDA School of St. George's went through three matches to zero. At the top half of the draw, the defending champions, Pomeroy's RC, uh, who had received a bye, they played Holy Innocence Anglican um, Primary of Ladigue St. Andrew, and uh, they went through three matches to zero as well. So presently, semi-final number one is being played with Pomrose and SDA. This is after the lunch period. And I think so far, Pomrose has taken a one-love lead uh, with the young Mahon, Brianna Mahon, winning against um, the player from St. George's SDA, um, Houston, Shifana Houston. Uh, in the bottom half of the draw, what we saw this morning, Woburn Methodist, they took on St. Paul's government in the second round of 16, with St. Paul's winning that one, three matches to zero. And St. Louis RC girls and Beacon had a cliffhanger with St. Louis clinching it three matches to two. It was really tense and it came down to the last point with St. Louis winning it 3-2. The little player there, um, Kiera Phillip, uh, clinching the tie for St. Louis. So St. Louis are now playing St. Andrews RC, who overcame St. Paul's government three matches to zero. And thus far, over in court four, um, the player from St. Andrews RC, I think it's um, uh, Christina Klein, she put St. Andrews up one, one love, winning her first match against the St. Louis player, I don't recall, I think it was Alina Drago, yeah, Drago of St. Louis.